Hello! Today we're going to talk about one of my all-time favorite workouts that I drag all of my friends to because it's a lot easier than trying to teach somebody to use squat rack. And that's Soul Cycle. I love Soul Cycle. I did it for the first time this summer. Last summer? I think it was last summer. Uh, some summer in Chicago. And then I moved down to DC. If yoga and spinning had a baby, that would be Soul Cycle. I wanted to give a few tips for people that are starting out in Soul Cycle, or if you've been riding for like a few months, it's something where it's tough and it's very frustrating when you're in class and the person in the front row, there's like six people that are like keeping up with every single song and you're in the back kind of flailing around, sweating and flailing and trying to figure out what the hell you're doing. So here are a few tips for my Soul Cycle friends. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your bike is set up properly. That have somebody help you set your bike up. And if, you know what, if it's like your fifth time going and you still don't know what, how you like your bike, have somebody set it up with you. I'm taller and I like my bike settings a little bit different because if you're doing push-ups and like tap backs, there's a hell of a lot of space to cover to go down all the way and it, I just, I need my bike, I need my handlebars up a little bit. Step one is make sure your bike is adjusted properly because you're not gonna be able to pedal properly or hold on or do all the positions if your bike's not set up. So cut yourself some slack and make sure that step is done. So, and then step two is, this is something that, I don't know if somebody ever really explained it. I think somebody pointed out in a class after I've been going for like two months and I was like, whoa, I get it now. When you're pedaling, you want to keep your knees in towards each other because if you're pedaling and your knees are going out if you're trust me it's going to be a lot more difficult if you keep your knees in towards each other you're going to protect your knees and also you're going to be able to pedal a lot faster than if they're out flailing it's going to be a very interesting video to watch after but than if they're out flailing the third thing is that do not be afraid to add resistance i personally hate sprints i would much rather climb a hill um, but that's just me. I'm much, I like much stronger than I'm much better at that than I am at just like pedaling like a fiend. If you're not on the beat, add or take off some resistance. And that is going to really help you to keep the beat. And also, if you can't hear the beat, look at the people in the front row. Those are the people that are going to have their shit together. And those are the people that you're going to want to watch to see which foot they have going on the beat. And you're going to want to line up with them. And also, a little side tip to somebody, if you're going to SoulCycle, don't be that, if you don't know what you're doing, sit in the back row. And that's not a like, you can't sit with us sort of thing, but it's really, really distracting when somebody is in one of the front rows and they don't know what they're doing or every time they do a tap back, it's like they're ducking for cover and you're just like, for the love of God, it's not that dramatic. I personally, I like the back row because you're elevated and then your face isn't in someone's butt. We all have our reasons. Another tip for SoulCycle is make sure you're hydrated before you get to class. You are going to sweat a lot. I just tell people this and they're like, ha, ah, yeah, and I'm like, no, no, no one wears a shirt. There's a reason for that because your sports bra and your pants, you could, you'd do it naked if you could, but that'd probably be really uncomfortable. But make sure you're hydrating before you get to class so that you're, you have the hydration to sweat when you're exerting your energy. So in the format of every class, I don't know if I'm like, this is like some soul cycle secret that I'm not allowed to tell you. You have your main work, you have your warm up song, and then you have your main workout songs, and then you do an arm song, and then generally the way that it works is you have one song to just ride with the lights off, you get to just tune out and really just think, and like, the instructor always gives very um, inspirational words. My personal personal favorite instructor is Cher. Um, her Instagram is Share Your Soul. She's my favorite. I love her so much in a non weird way. We're friends, but she doesn't know it yet. So she really like the things that she says during that one class always really stick with me and help me carry through the week. Help carry me through the week. If you can't keep up, that's fine. That's a okay. If you are that person that's in the back row where you're like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just gonna pedal and jam out to the music. That's perfectly fine. I have been doing SoulCycle for months and it still takes me, there's still some classes where I'm like, y'all go ahead, I'm gonna go catch my breath and not die in the back row. Try out different instructors. I, I have my favorite instructors and then I have some instructors where I'm like, I will never go to your class, thank you. And it's nothing against them, I just don't like their teaching style. It doesn't work well with how I like to work out. And sometimes, SoulCycle can be a very, very supportive community, 
but sometimes it can also feel a little intimidating because everyone else knows what they're doing everyone's decked out in lululemon and soul cycle gear and if you're just walking in for the first time you're like we're not in kansas anymore but it's fine everyone's just there to get a workout anyway so and if they judge you be like that's not very soul cycle of you stay and stretch after your workout I always, in my head, for some reason, I hate staying and stretching, and when I don't stay and stretch, I can't walk the next day. So you just put your body through a very vigorous workout. Also, side note, your crotch will hurt. Sad truth and facts, but it's gonna take some time for you to get used to sitting on a bicycle seat. So I give it about two weeks of consistently riding, and you're gonna be in pain, and you're gonna have to ride when you're in pain. Just how it works. Hmm. What else? Also, another thing that's really important is if you, you should not have a lot of weight in your wrists. If you have weight in your wrists, you are too far forward. Your shoulders should not be over your wrists. Your butt should be over your seat or as close to it as possible. Like you should feel the seat hitting you in the back of your butt. Because if you're too far forward, it's putting, you're too, it's throwing you all out of alignment. It's going to hurt your back. It's going to hurt your neck. It's going to hurt your knees. It's going to hurt your whole body. So. And if you're having a really hard time keeping up with the beat, try shifting your weight back. I think part of the reason that I really like Soul Cycle is I rode horses for 13 years, and like tap it backs are a lot like posting. Anybody who rode horses is gonna know what I'm talking about, and anybody who doesn't is gonna be like, what? I just tried to show you what it looks like when you're on a bike, and it looked real weird. So we're not gonna do that. But basically, you want. Just don't be gripping onto your handlebars for dear life. Rest your hands. Rest your hands on your handlebars. Don't be clenching. But your abs should be engaged. And when you're holding your back, like your shoulders back, keeping your uh, shoulder blades kissing together, it's gonna really, it's gonna protect your back. You're gonna get a better workout. You're not gonna be slumped over. I don't know why I'm single, it's a mystery. But so if you're having a really hard time keeping with the beat or having a hard time with the rhythm, try pulling your hips back. The thing is, is that a lot of soul cycle just comes with practice. It's like any other sport or any other activity. The more you do it, the better you get. And it's something where the more you do it, you're gonna start hearing the rhythm of the beat. And also, some songs have more than one beat. Warning, so once you start going to soul cycle, every song that you hear, you're like, oh, it's gonna be that beat. So yeah, soul cycle's gonna change your life a little bit. But overall, I really recommend Soul Cycle. I don't recommend it seven days a week. Do not be that person that's in there every single day. First of all, it is $30 a class plus shoe rental. A little expensive. So cycling itself, I was talking to my trainer about this when I was thinking about doing, I'm the type of person anytime there's a workout challenge, I'm like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go above and beyond. So there was like, see if you can do 30 classes in 30 days. And I was like, I'm gonna do 43. And I talked to my personal trainer back home and he was like, don't do that. Don't be, don't be a crazy person. Because part of it is that soul cycle creates muscle imbalances in your body. And also that's another tip. You're not always necessarily pushing down on the pedals. You're also pulling up. This will make a lot more sense if you've been to a soul cycle class because you know that you clip your shoes into the pedal, but pulling up is also sometimes you have to you have to not only push down on one leg but pull up with the other and that's going to help you a little bit with preventing the muscle imbalances but it's not always going to work those are my tips and tricks for if you are a soul cycle beginner or trying to really improve your riding yeah we'll just go with that so please be sure to thumbs up i always feel so i always feel so weird it's always like like my stuff <laughs> cool thanks I hope you found these tips helpful. I hope that they're helping you whether you're a beginner or if you've been wanting to try Soul Cycle and haven't had a chance yet, I do recommend it. Don't be scared. It's so much fun. It's one of the most, there's a reason they're like, <laughs> the reason they're popular and people pay $33 a class. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will see you again next time. Bye.